my name is Hector. I'm a barista at Lagar Coffee Roasters located in Paris, California. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how we brew a cup of coffee using the AeroPress. Let's get started. All right, first things first. The items you're gonna need are fresh coffee of your choice, a scale to measure accurately, a timer, but luckily my scale already has a timer built in, so I can set a timer aside. The AeroPress is separated into three pieces, the base, the plunger, and the filter basket a spoon or a chopstick, hot water, and a deserving mug to hold your liquid gold. First step is to measure out 20 grams of coffee. You want to grind this coffee at a fine setting, maybe a little coarser than espresso. Now that you have your 20 grams of coffee ground, you want to get your AeroPress, a filter, and put it in the AeroPress filter basket. You want to fasten the basket to the base of the AeroPress, and you want to pre-wet the filter. The reason we do this is to get rid of any paper flavor that may have been left over from the factory, and also to preheat the vessel. Once you pre-wet the filter, you can set it on the mug you're going to be dripping into, or a carafe. Now, you want to get your ground coffee, and add it to the AeroPress. The AeroPress should have came with a funnel so you don't spill. Give a gentle shake to level out the grounds. Tear out your scale and you're ready to add the hot water. Now, before I add the hot water, we're gonna wanna add up to 240 grams of water in 30 seconds. Start your timer and add the water. A low constant stream of water should help you achieve this goal. Once you've added the water, you want to give it a gentle stir to incorporate all the coffee. Next, you want to place the plunger at an angle to avoid any extraction and pull up slightly. This will create a vacuum seal and we want that to have the coffee brewing inside. We don't want any premature extraction. We're going to leave it like this for a minute and 15 seconds. Once the timer hits a minute and 15 seconds, you can remove the plunger and give another gentle stir. After that, you can place the plunger and begin to plunge slowly and evenly. Towards the end of the brew, the air press will make a hissing noise and that'll let you know the brew is done. Now you can set the air press aside. Now that your brew is done, all that's left is to enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos from Lagar Coffee Roasters. And don't forget to follow us on social media at Lagar Coffee. Stay caffeinated.